Hi and welcome back. A few weeks ago I made a video about sample and hold using the dope for A148, a module that can also be used as a track and hold and I promised I'd come back to that function and share a couple of patch ideas. So that's what we're gonna do today. quickly explain the difference between sample and hold and track and hold. Then I'll show you how you can make a track and hold function just using a sample and hold module and then we'll dive into a series of patches. If you'd like to support this video series or you want to get access to the PDF sheets of the illustrations I use in this and many of my other videos, have a look at my Patreon. But now, let's dive right in. As we've seen in the last video, a sample and hold function requires two signals to function. An input signal to sample, like an LFO or noise, and a trigger or gate signal. Every time a sample and hold module receives a trigger, it will check the current value of the sample signal and hold that value at the output until it receives a new trigger. A classic thing to do is feed a sample and hold noise and a steady clock to create this classic stepped random signal. The track and hold function is also based on two inputs, but works different. In this case, the sample input can be called track input. When the module receives a gate or a signal high enough to pass a threshold, at its second input, it will start tracking the input signal. This will effectively result in an exact copy of the input signal without any changes for as long as the gate is high. However, at the moment you stop feeding the module a high gate, it will hold the current value and keep it steady for as long as the gate input is low. So a high gate is track and a low gate is hold. Just like with a sample and hold module, a lot of creativity comes from feeding the module different inputs, both on the sample and gate side. For example, you can feed a steady clock into the track input and use a random gate to freeze the clock for some time. Or send a smooth random voltage to the track input and use the gate to hold a random value before going back to an organic random signal. When going back to the signal the module is tracking, the change is immediate. So in many cases you can get a volume jump like you see here. In some patches it could be worth it to add a slew limiter after the output of the track and hold. As long as the slew time is not slower than changes happening in the tracked signal, it will smooth out these voltage jumps. Before we go on with some patches, I want to share a simple trick that can turn a normal sample and hold module into a track and hold. Analog sample and hold modules are really good at dealing with audio rate signals. So when you feed something like a slow sine wave LFO into the sample input and use an audio rate gate signal like the square wave output of a steady high pitched oscillator into the gate input, you will create a tracking function. The module will sample and hold the incoming signal with such a high rate, the output signal is effectively the same as the incoming signal. In order to add the hold function, all you have to do is feed the oscillator through a closed VCA before hitting the sample and hold. Now when you send the VCA a gate to open it, the sample and hold module will track the incoming signal and hold it when you stop feeding a gate to the VCA, just like a track and hold circuit. Let's have a look at a few patches that utilize the track and hold function. Sending a smooth random voltage to a track and hold module will give you the possibility to freeze the random voltage at any time. This can work great in all sorts of patches. For example, when you make a simple voice with an oscillator, filter, VCA and a sequencer to create a melody and trigger an envelope to the filter and VCA. In this case, you can use the sequencer to drive a clock divider and have a slower division gate the track and hold. Then send the resulting voltage to the filter in the voice. Or to create some interesting percussion, you can send a noise source through a bandpass filter, a VCA and a delay module. Then add a track and hold module that you feed a medium speed random voltage as well as a division from a clock divider driven by a modular clock. You can use the same clock to trigger an envelope with a fast attack and short decay to open the VCA. 
And if you want even more dynamics, you can multiply the output of the track and hold and send that to modulate the delay time as well. In larger drone or ambient patches, a track and hold with random voltages, both at the track input and gate input, to create random freeze moments can be great. You can use the output on directly audible elements like filters, wave folders, wave shape oscillators and so on. But within a modular you can also use this voltage to control things like the clock speed, delay time, reverb amount on effects modules and so on. A great way to bring dynamics over a longer period of time is to use this voltage on a VCA to control the amount of modulation going from one place to another. For example, the amount of frequency modulation from one oscillator to another. Or the amount in LFO is modulating a filter. Let's set up a simple voice, again with a sequencer and envelope. However, this time send both the melodic sequence and the envelope to a VCA. After the VCA, the sequenced melody passes on to a quantizer and then the oscillator. And the envelope passes on to the filter. Then add a track and hold module with two random voltages. One to track, the other to create random gates. Then multiply the output to both the VCAs. Now when the voltage is low, there is no melodic sequence and no envelope. And when the voltage goes higher, both the melody and the modulation to the filter will swell up. The quantizer is necessary to re-quantize any 1V per octave signal after it's being altered in some way. You can also use track and hold to interrupt a trigger pattern. If you feed a steady clock to the track input, you can let that signal pass on to trigger something like a hi-hat. Now you can experiment with different gate inputs to hold the signal and interrupt the pattern. You can use something like an unsynced square wave LFO, but smooth random voltages also work great to create random gated patterns. Using a track and hold to influence a sequencer can lead to great results as well. For example, when you use a sequencer's clock to trigger a sample player and its CV output through a track and hold module to select samples. In this setup, the sequence is just passed on to the sample player when you send the track and hold a gate. But the sequence will freeze when the gate drops out. If you like to invert this behavior and for example want to use a manual gate to freeze the sequence, you can send your manual gate to an inverter and then mix it with offset. Now you have a gate that's always high until you send a manual gate into the setup. A similar setup with a track and hold can be used on melodic sequences. Just make a voice with an oscillator, filter, VCA and a sequencer triggering an envelope. Use the envelope on the filter or VCA, but send the melodic sequence through the track and hold module before going to the oscillator. Now you can experiment with different random or clocked gates to freeze the melody for some time. Again, it can be worth it to add an inverter and or offset voltage to an incoming signal, like a random voltage, to influence the amount of voltage that is below the tracking threshold. Because the track and hold module works great with audio rates, you can use it to chop up audio signals as well. For example, when you have a simple voice creating a melody, you can multiply the output signal, send one of them to a mixer, so you can just hear the voice on its own, but send the multiplication to a track and hold module. Again, send the track and hold a random voltage. Now, every time the random voltage is high enough, the incoming audio is tracked and passed on. You can send these random snippets of audio to something like a delay or other effects module. <laughs> 
If you haven't seen the original sample and hold video, make sure to check it out, as you can try many of the patches I share in that video with the track and hold module as well. For example, take a simple voice and feed noise and the steady clock to a track and hold module instead of a sample and hold module influencing the filter. Instead of a steady step random voltage, you will get a signal that alternates between a steady random voltage and the noise influencing the filter directly, creating interesting textures. If you'd like to learn more about clock dividers or quantizers, have a look at any of these videos. And if you'd like to see more and more of the content from me, smash that like, subscribe and bell button. But that's it for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.